Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Reserve Report, your source for what's going on locally and around the Reserve. I'm your host, Lance Corporal Devin Barnett. The Commandant of the Marine Corps expanded on the Commandant's planning guidance that General Joseph Dunford started before transitioning to the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. The Fraga was put out January 19th to clarify the Marine Corps' goals and how to reach them in the next four years. For more information, check out Frago 01-2016. MAR Admin 433-15 outlines the importance of professional military education courses as a part of the new promotion requirements. It is highly recommended that Marines attend resident PME as soon as practical after being promoted to a new grade. For more information and a schedule, check out MAR Admin 433-15. In the mountains of Vermont, Marines with 4th Marine Division conducted exercise Nordic Frost to advance leadership skills while holding up to their nickname, the Cold Steel Warriors. Watch the next video for more on the story. Now let me ask you this. In the Marines with 1st Battalion, 25th Marine Regiment, 4th Marine Division, Marine Forces Reserve, prepared for cold weather operations from January 4th through the 15th, 2016 at Ethan Allen Training Center in Jericho, Vermont. And this is just cold weather training, hopefully to be also furthered in mountain training and then maybe some overseas cold weather training as well. Well, the Marine Corps Reserve is honestly all about being a full-time Marine, also being full-time employed. All of our training is going to focus around uh, being able to uh, to survive and to fight in the environment that we find ourselves, which is mountainous, uh, cold, uh, and be able to execute the offense, the defense, uh, combat logistics, command and control. Uh, as a machine gunner, like right now for this range, um, we're going to be having 0311s, basic riflemen, run up the range and um, meet a squad size element followed by a platoon size element. And this is a very good representation of an actual operation. We try and focus on being brilliant in the basics. Um, you know, if we, if we maintain that baseline of, uh, of proficiency on what it is to conduct something that, that is fairly simple and straightforward, a, a squad level supported attack, we have the opportunity to build on that uh, when we have more time during an annual training period like we're in it right now. Here in the Northeast that we've got uh, a base like uh, Ethan Allen that we can come up and bring the entire battalion to that has the facilities and the ranges to be able to support their, our training objectives. Um, but uh, you know, our company will train in this sort of environment every winter. Um, you know, again, being in the Northeast, the, the, the cold and the snow comes and uh, we have limited training time available to us because we are reserve marines. Uh, so we need to take advantage of, of every opportunity that we have. That does it for this edition of the Reserve Report. As always, for more news, photos, and videos, check out our website at www.marforres.marines.mil. I'm Lance Corporal Devin Barnett. Thanks for watching.